Oh my gosh, my eyes is burning from this mascara. They're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty. Hey y'all, welcome back to another estrogen release video. I am Asia and today I will be giving you guys my top five Netflix recommendations. As you guys know, we have all been stuck in the house due to the coronavirus and I don't know about y'all, but I've been watching a lot of movies, a lot of TV shows, so I just thought I would come on here and give you guys some recs so you can add these things to your watch list. So let's get started with number five, Tiger King. So basically, Tiger King is about the dramas that go on with the animal world. You guys. I do not like Ratchet TV. I don't really have a lot of tolerance for Ratchet TV anymore. That was the old Asia, the new Asia is trying to, you know, look at things that's more positive, I guess, to a certain extent. However, I got sucked in. The first episode, I was like, what is this ghetto mess? And then I just had to figure out what was going to happen. What's going to happen with these people? What's going to happen with the animals? What's going to happen with the situation? So, Tiger King is definitely recommended. It is, I think, seven episodes. They're like probably 40 minutes to an hour long. And you can probably get it done in like a weekend. But it is, so I recommend it, especially if you like Ratchet TV, you definitely need to watch Tiger King. Number four, I'm not really big into action movies. However, when a movie has Angelina Jolie, you have to watch it. It's an old movie, but it still resonates today with entertainment it's just a bomb movie and that is salt i don't really know what too much to say about salt it's basically a um action spy movie but again angelina jolie like point blank period like i could just say angelina jolie period and that should be the recommendation right there but again for all the people who love action i'm quite sure a lot of people have already seen salt but they put it on netflix so that's just a heads up watch salt it's a bomb movie entertaining Angelina Jolie point blank period number three first wives club now I I feel kind of like uncultured because I've never seen it I love the actresses in it however I just never watched it but I knew it was a big part of culture but I watched it and I enjoyed it it was so freaking cute it was just it was a feel-good movie and it was a power woman empowerment movie I wish I, my friends would have watched it with me, but I'm not sure if they would like it. I enjoyed it. It was really, really funny. It was really, really cute. And um, it actually had a really good ending. Like, I thought it was going to be like a, oh, we learned that revenge isn't, you know, necessary. I thought it was going to be like something like that. But it was a really good movie with a great ending and great actors and really, really cute. So definitely, definitely watch The First Wives Club. Number two, Young Adult. Um, this has Charlize Theron and... Um, don't know the other actors but this was surprisingly a really really good movie it was one of those movies that me and my friends we watched on netflix party which is definitely by the way this this video is definitely not sponsored by netflix but netflix is stepping up their game netflix party is like super legit it's like basically you can watch a movie with your friends at the same time so you don't have to worry about somebody being ahead of you you don't have to worry about somebody being behind and you have a little chat box me and my friends, we all talk during movies, but the chat box is so much more convenient because we don't have to hear it. You're just typing. And I know this kind of seems like it's defeating the purpose, but you're actually still watching the movie. I don't know. It's just a funny way to engage with your friends without being in their presence. And thank you, Netflix, for that feature. It's really cool. I recommend that as well. Back to the movie recommendation. Young Adult, Charlize Theron, basically. It's like a dramatic comedy um, or... I don't think it's considered dark comedy, but the humor was dark. Darker than normal. It was it was a very witty storyline, story plot. And I don't know, me and my friends, we enjoyed that movie. We enjoyed discussing it. We enjoyed talking through it, well, typing through it. There was just so many things going on in that movie. Also, it kind of was annoying and sometimes. If you want a movie that's funny, that's not your typical romantic comedy, it's not, you know, cheesy, not cringe. Well, it is kind of cringy, but not cheesy, not lame. Watch Young Adult. It's really, it makes you think. It's like a great hypothetical movie, and I really enjoyed 
enjoyed it. So my first recommendation is another movie that me and my friends watched on a Netflix party and we were hooked, like hooked. It was the cutest, cutest movie I've seen in a while. Did I say the name yet? Oh, sorry, Crystal. Oh my goodness, this had Rosario Dawson, Rosario, I hope I said that, Rosario Dawson, the guy from Shameless, uh, Felicity Huffman, T.I., which was really, really strange. I think the guy's name is something Lattimore. This movie was so freaking cute. It was just funny, it was action-packed. It was a movie that, it's one of those movies that just have everything in it, all these elements in it. And if you don't like a lot going on, maybe this movie isn't for you, but I'm the type of person, I want to have the whole emotional spectrum on a movie. Like, I wanna be laughing, I wanna crying, I wanna be scared, I wanna be nervous for the characters. Like, I want to go on an emotional roller coaster when I'm watching a movie, because it's a movie. So I, this is my, top one my first pick number one whatever this is my top recommendation because it was just a cute movie it's like literally one of the best movies i've seen in a while the writing was beautiful it wasn't cheesy which is something that i really it's like your non-traditional romantic comedy but it was more so on the dark humor side which i really enjoyed so yes crystal is a bomb movie and y'all, what I'm gonna say to finalize my recommendations, if you don't like these movies, show it to my head, not my heart. I enjoy these movies, therefore I'm just trying to expand people's palettes. Um, and let them, I'm the type of person, like I, if I see a movie and I'm like, I'm definitely not gonna like it, I won't watch it. And some of these movies were that, um, but then once I watched it, I was like, oh my goodness, I really like this movie. So, I'm just trying to do that for you guys too. You know, just give you guys some different options. So, um, yeah, if you guys have some movie recommendations, please leave them in the comments down below. Um, again, I don't know when we're gonna be out of quarantine. It seems like it's gonna be a while, so bring them babies on. I'm gonna be on Netflix, Hulu. I don't know if this video does well, maybe I'll go to my Hulu um, recommendations. But yeah, those are my top five recommendations. Um, Sorry if I, my descriptions of them are kind of off because I'm all over the place. <laughs> but that's how I kind of describe them. Anyway, long story short, thank you for watching. If you're watching, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace. Bye.